welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing fabulous. I have my wedding party tomorrow. I'm so excited. There's so much to do, so much to finish, but I really feel like we've made a lot of progress. Mama. As you guys all know, I got married in January at the courthouse, but tomorrow we are having our actual wedding celebration. All of our friends and family are coming over. I think we have 45 people. I don't know, because some people keep on like canceling last minute, but I think 45 people coming to our house. So it's gonna be a big deal. Praise God that it is supposed to be nice out tomorrow because we were really worried if it rained, we don't know what we would have done because there's just not enough room in our actual house. We really need to utilize our backyard. So thank you, Jesus. It's nice out. And yeah, anyways, I thought I would just show you a little bit of some of the decorations and prep that I've already got done. And then I'll probably have to film another clip later on in the week and just update you and talk to you a little bit more about everything. But yeah, the place already looks so good. All the decorations are so beautiful and I really just feel like tomorrow is going to go really well. So yeah, right now I am baking the cake because y'all know I'm gonna make it myself. I'm gonna do my lemon blueberry cake, my favorite cake ever. And then I'm also gonna make some cookies today. And then other than that, I just need to do a really quick re-clean, prep some flowers, but yeah, we're doing good. So um, and then we just put a little cake batter into the oven and then I can show you some of the decorations because I am just loving it. So the first decoration that I am most obsessed with is this flower wall. It really just fills up this ginormous plain white wall that we have in our house. I've been meaning to do a gallery wall here, but I'm getting everything from the thrift store. So, you know, it takes a while to collect all the photos. So for the wedding, I just wanted to do something fun and I figured why not do a little flower wall. Behind me, I'm kind of covering it. I have a little picture frame. This is from the thrift store. I think it was like $8, I love it. And I just got this big photo mat from Michael's that everyone is going to sign. And then in the middle is a picture of me and my husband. So afterwards, it's like our little guest book. Afterwards, we can hang it up and see everyone's signatures. I feel like it's cute. And then yeah, just this huge flower wall that actually continues, I'll give you a close up. So these flowers I just got on Temu. Um, or Temu, I don't know, it's basically like she and I know it's not the most ethical okay, but I did not want to spend a lot of money. Not even did not want to, I just did not have a big budget for this wedding. I wanted to keep it really affordable, so all of these flowers are from there. Ah, oh, look at that one, it fell. <laughs> Anyways, I just got them all and spent one weekend, a couple of hours, cutting the ends off so they were all the same length and then taping them to the wall. Really, really easy. And I just feel like it looks so beautiful and very wedding vibe. So I'm very happy with it. Here's a little close up. So it's just a mixture of like roses and I don't know what other flowers these are all supposed to be, but you can see I really tried to keep the same sort of pink and white color palette. Isn't it beautiful? And then this is the frame, just a little peek of it. I think it looks really nice. I'll rescue that one in a sec, but yeah, I really like it. Now in terms of actual real flowers, I do have quite a lot as well. I just really want the aesthetic to be flowers, right? I feel like it's very wedding, very classic. So the majority of the flowers I actually got yesterday on my walk. <laughs> I literally just went through like wild fields and just cut so many flowers. And I think they're so beautiful. I'm really sad because I really wanted lilacs. Um, but last week there were so many, I picked some, they smelled amazing. My house smelled so good, I was so in love. And then I went back to my spot where all these lilacs were and they were all gone already. Like that's just how quick lilac season is. So sad, but it's okay because I really love these ones. I do not know what any of these are called, but aren't they beautiful? So I have a couple of bouquets of these around the house already. And then I did spend about $100 and got four bouquets as well from the florist. So $100 for my wedding flower budget, I think is pretty, pretty reasonable. I'm very happy with that. And what else can I show you guys? Pretty much everything else decorations wise, we're kind of gonna have to wait until tomorrow. So that's why I will film another clip and just update you guys on everything. But we have really beautiful fake flowers to go all along the fence outside in our backyard and this lovely white sash. And we tested it out a couple of weeks ago and it looks amazing and I'm so happy. I'm also so happy that we're doing this at our house. I was just talking to my husband about this this morning, how much more stress-free it is because I'm able to, like last week and I did the flower wall, I'm able to slowly decorate, slowly clean the place up, slowly test out decorations. It's just so, like I'm just so happy about it versus if we were to go to a venue or something like that, you would just kind of have to hope and pray that everything works out on the day of. 
not to mention obviously a venue is like way too expensive and we couldn't make that work but just it's just so peaceful having it at your home so i'm very thankful about that so then over here just on our little fireplace i don't know what this is called but over here <laughs> we're gonna have our cake here so i got this cake stand at the thrift store a couple of weeks ago i had been looking for absolutely ages and i don't know why it's like impossible to find a cake stand and then one day i was getting my hair done and i went to a thrift store i've never been to next to it just because you know i felt like stretching my legs before i drove home and um i found this for ten dollars <laughs> and i really like it i feel like it's cute it's not really what i had on my vision board but it does the job and then these plates are also from the thrift store they were two dollars each are they not beautiful so i think i'll put the cake on here and the cookies on here and then here's some more of my little wild flowers and then just some more over here obviously i need to finalize what this is going to look like but just to give you an idea i think it's really pretty and then over here on the other side of the fireplace we have some big flowers this little box for cards <laughs> obviously and then i made this little thing in canva and just printed it out and just says to take a picture and i'm gonna put some polaroid cameras next to it and then some candles i also did the exact same thing here with another frame that we're gonna put outside above the drink table which i think is really cute again all of these frames are from the thrift store i really like this one isn't it pretty <laughs> i can't wait to reuse it for something else after and anyways i think that's pretty much all i can tell you about right now but i will film and take as many pictures as i can tomorrow and then i can update you later on in the week and let you know how it went but yeah now i'm just gonna finish making the cake and making the cookies i'm really excited and yeah i will update you guys in a couple of days after the wedding I'm sure it'll all go okay but of course the nerves are starting to come up now i'm just worried that everything isn't going to work out or that i'm going to wake up with like a massive pimple in between my eyebrows or something tomorrow like i will just honestly be happy when the day is over but i'm sure i will enjoy myself nonetheless so yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Hi guys. Okay, so I have to talk rather quietly because it is 5.17 in the morning and um, I woke up really early today and filmed my first ever ASMR video in over a year. And I did it. I'm not so sure how good it was because of course, it'd be quiet right now, but the cats were going crazy. They would not stop meowing, and that's why I'm being kind of quiet. So, I just figured since I was here and nothing else to do, it's five in the morning, why don't I actually finally get around to filming the update of our wedding? Long story short, it was perfect. It was perfection. Like, I actually would call it my dream wedding, and I'm just so happy, and it all worked out perfectly really truly smoothly like nothing really went wrong and um so i'm just happy there you go and i'm get an example hi mama i'm just really happy now that um it's done and we can look back with positive memories instead of like you know being worried like i wasn't that stressed but it's just a relief now that it's done and all worked out you know like a wedding is just so much hype around it so it feels good to just be like oh, it's over it worked out you know so i'm very very thankful so i thought i could just kind of run you through um the rest of the decorations because i swear for what we paid like it just was so beautiful like very very cheap but just stunning i'm so happy and the food and everything i'm just gonna chat you through everything really so my favorite part obviously i think i told you guys about the flower wall loved that not everyone signed our, our picture mat though i swear every time people were leaving i was like sign it sign it so i got a lot of people too but we're looking back and like some key people did not sign it so yeah whatever it's still cool to have so that worked out and um the backyard my favorite thing that we did is we hung up this white like i don't know what it's called but like kind of curtain thing along each of the panels in the backyard and then i got flower like garland i suppose and we pinned it to the top of the fence all the way around our backyard so it just looked beautiful you guys like for just my backyard like obviously i like my backyard but it's not like a wedding venue you know but just that alone oh my gosh like it just made it 
beautiful like felt really special and everyone was complimenting on us and it was like to be honest when we did buy a lot like i think i probably paid like 400 dollars for all of that but i could probably at least resell some of it we'll see or keep it i can't decide <laughs> i guess i don't need it right probably just i'll resell it on these marketplace or something but beautiful really beautiful and so simple and if you guys want links to any of the decorations just let me know I'm happy to help would definitely recommend it and then we also just got the two basic tables um one was ours we already own i think i don't know we have like a travel hood of the sister of the <laughs> sisterhood of the traveling table like i don't know whose table it is but it's just always moved around for whoever is having a party but we just got two of those basic fold-up tables and then i got a tablecloth and a table skirt on amazon so that just looked really elegant and then i don't think i got any good pictures of it because it was so hectic the day of but I just put a bunch of flowers and I got, I think I told you guys, like a bunch of the wildflowers and I just, I bought a couple of flowers from the store and I swear the wildflowers were just like so much prettier, like I really loved them, so I'm glad that all worked out. So I put a bunch of flowers on the table, all the drinks, and then we got these big buckets from the farm store and we'll totally reuse them as well, so, and they're maybe like $40, which I feel like was a very affordable way to have all the drinks out versus getting like a bunch of coolers or like i don't know what else you would do to be honest so we got a bunch of these buckets we layered them with ice and then all the different cans of booze we have a lot of booze our family's big on drinking and um and it's a wedding like obviously and we just put all the tubs like some on the table some on the ground around it and i also i think i told you guys i had that little gold picture frame that said like the drinks are on us the hangovers on you and i put that in the middle and just kind of hammered it into the fence and i just feel like that looked really cute i don't know so simple but i just thought it was really beautiful and i'm very happy with how it all turned out i covered um we got this couch in our back corner under the tree that we have my husband's dad was getting rid of it so he gave it to us so love that free furniture and i just cut out an old gingham bed sheet covered all the cushions to make it look pretty and i think like i'm probably gonna leave it there like it looks really cute yeah the only thing about being under a tree is it's covered in bird poop because <laughs> there's so many birds but you know i think it's cute i think that's pretty much everything decor wise i had another one of those faux flower garlands in the middle of our kitchen island where all the snacks was around and of course the fireplace table i showed you guys with the cake stand and the cookies and flowers i thought that looked really pretty and yeah like i just think it was beautiful for a very cheap wedding i'm very happy very happy and i love how low-key it was too like we could just have fun there was no pressure well no not really a lot of pressure it was a little but you know like I, I was actually able to just really enjoy myself so i'm very happy about that and i'm so happy i've said this before but i'm so happy that we didn't do the traditional walking down the aisle thing because i would have died and just to give you an example so once everyone finally arrived my husband wanted to do like a little speech just you know to say thank you he actually first thing he said was thank you god for the weather because it really was beautiful and the key to my heart is just thanking god for everything he did a little speech and I was standing next to him and then everyone, like, there's only like 40 people you guys, but everyone like turned and stared and they turned the music off and the feeling of that many people, like obviously they're looking at my husband too, but I was just like, um, no. I ran off the deck and like stood next to my husband's sister. <laughs> it's just too much for me, too stressful. Um, so there's no way I could have walked out the aisle basically, so I'm trying to say. There's my mouth, some more examples, like why are you meowing, what's going on? Cats. Normally it's cute, but it's not fun when you're doing ASMR. But yeah, so I'm just happy with everything. It was very chill and just perfect. I'm so happy. Oh well, yeah, we did a little Polaroids. This isn't, I think everyone must do this right, but I love the Polaroids. I'm excited to make a little scrapbook of everything. And yeah, it was perfect. So for food, we did the cake. Everyone loved it. Oh my God, it was gone in like a second. Everyone loved it. Like, I'm telling you guys, it's the best cake recipe on planet Earth. And, like, not to toot my own horn, but, like, it's so good. We also got an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen, and I thought that would be gone because it's ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Like, of course, hello. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but we still have, uh, like, half the cake left in the freezer. But my cake was gone like that. So, I would highly recommend that recipe. The sugar cookies, I don't, I can't remember what I showed you guys or didn't show you in the last part of the video, but the sugar cookies were really good as well. I put just little 
edible dried flowers that I got on Etsy. You can do it yourself, but like I was trying to not do everything so I didn't stress myself out, right? So I put those on. They were beautiful, like really beautiful, and they also tasted really good. And you couldn't taste the flower. I didn't know what to expect, but it was just like, it was just there and you were eating it and then that was it. It was really good. So I would recommend those for any kind of party. They're very beautiful. And then the other thing we did for food. Oh, it's five. We're not going out. It's five in the morning. You're not going outside, baby. And for food, we got Greek food. It was so good. So the, originally, we were just going to do plastic plates. We did end up last minute renting plates. Just, you know, be like a little more wedding vibe. Like it wasn't very expensive just to do plates and cutlery. And, um, but originally we didn't, so we were like, we need something that's easy to eat standing up on a plastic plate. So we did Greek food, it was delicious. We got like chicken and pork kebabs, rice, potatoes, banana capita, delicious. <laughs> Crazy. So, no, you're gonna have to sit with me, otherwise you're gonna be all left. No, I'm sorry. Time for a cuddle. Time for a cuddle, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so then the other thing they were supposed to, we, we, the, we also were supposed to get tzatziki and then they just didn't bring it like i don't really know what happened but thank the lord i made a big batch of tzatziki because we just like my recipe better it's like got fresh cucumber it's, it's just really light whereas theirs was quite heavy and very garlicky still good but you know we were just like i'll make mine too just to have the option and then yeah they just like didn't bring it i don't know what happened and i had my own in the fridge so i just pulled it out and we were good to go so like it really wasn't a big deal at all and then we still call them just be like maybe we can get like a little bit of a refund for whatever the tzatziki would have costed and um, the guy was so apologetic we weren't mad we were like it was so good just wanted to let you know like so chill and he felt so bad though and so he gave us a really nice gift card so we're gonna go to dinner probably get at least two dinners out of it which is like just like nice like a lovely blessing for something that really wasn't a big deal so and they forgot the bread but like who cares about bread so yeah kind of worked out in the end i'm not mad in the slightest <laughs> and so that was the food and then yeah we rented plates we also very last minute rented two tables we weren't going to i was so convinced that they wouldn't fit like our backyard isn't that small but i don't know i, I just didn't think they would fit but last minute we did, we were like, okay, we'll just roll them out at dinner time and just like quickly pop two up just so people have somewhere to sit. And they fit perfectly and they looked beautiful too because I had these old bed sheets. Um, one was like flowery, one was like gingham, I forget what, but they were beautiful. And then my husband like put flowers in the middle, like I wasn't there at all, but he was like, I'm gonna put flowers in the middle because I know one will like it and I did, it was beautiful. <laughs> and they just looked so beautiful. Like it was, the whole thing just was so low key, so, chill so kind of last minute like the tables we literally decided two days before that we were gonna rent them and it all just worked out perfectly and was beautiful and we had so much fun and i think everyone else had a lot of fun and i'm just so thankful it all really worked out so then the last wedding thing i think that's everything to do oh the part other thing just my dress if you guys care was just a one of my favorite dresses that i have from abercrombie it's like puff sleeves, midi, has pockets, which is amazing for your wedding because you can put like a lip gloss and your phone, which is so perfect. And so I got that dress, but in white, duh. And I just felt really comfortable, really confident. Like it was just the perfect dress. And yeah, so that's all I wore. So that's everything. So then the last wedding thing is yesterday we had a wedding photo shoot because I showed you guys a few months ago. I got a dress from Azazi. 10 out of 10 would recommend very affordable i think that dress is like 600 dollars, but it looks like a four thousand dollar wedding dress and it, like the details up close too like it's crazy how affordable it is it's just stunning and um yeah so we had a little wedding photo shoot we rented out this mansion we didn't actually rent it out i thought it was going to be private <laughs> Like you're paying like two hundred dollars for the, maybe two fifty for like two hours, so in my mind I'm like, all right, we're like we're serving the place because it's expensive. Like that just makes sense to me. And no, you were just like getting a photography pass, so you were allowed to have a professional camera and wear a wedding dress. There were people everywhere, and there were a lot of tourists, and they just kept on taking pictures of us, and we're just like in our, like, our wedding outfit, like taking pictures, and there's just like people snapping photos of us, and we're like. 
like I'm like very comfortable with that because I was a fashion influencer for years and that's just like comes to the territory but like people totally stop and stare but like people were just like taking pictures I'm like you don't even know me like you didn't even ask for my permission like so odd but uh, what can you do? <laughs> Um, but I think they're gonna be beautiful. Obviously, I don't have any of the actual final pictures yet, but we had a lot of fun. We just had my friend who is back for the month from Italy to do them, and it was nice to just catch up with her as well. And um, I think they're gonna be pretty. We'll see. But um, obviously, it's heard a couple of the videos that I just got from there, but it was just like, felt like I was in, um, I don't know, somewhere in Europe. I don't know where, but it was really, really beautiful. And little did I know that you can actually go to this place and walk around the grounds for free so that's why there are so many people there so now i know at least for next time like you can just take a picture on your phone and you don't have to pay but it's when you bring the fancy camera that it becomes like a thing where you need a license but so i'm totally gonna like go there all the time now and just put on a pretty dress and go for a walk and get my husband to snap a little video and get that content so yeah but that all worked out and now officially no more wedding stuff it's felt like a very drawn out process but all done now, I'm officially a wife, no more things. Um, yeah, which I'm really happy about too. Like it's just nice for it all to be done because like I said in the last part of this video, you're just so worried you're gonna wake up with like a pimple or just something is gonna go wrong. And I've always worried about that. Like ever since I was younger, I never really wanted to have a wedding for that reason because there's just so much pressure especially on the bride like the bride has to be beautiful and you're just like god don't look at me like it's just not my vibe <laughs> not my vibe so i'm happy that it's all over now and again it really was perfection my dream wedding so fun and i'm i'm happy i'm very very happy so that's i think all the things i feel like i'm gonna turn the camera off right now and then remember i wanted to tell you something oh yeah I guess I can just show you guys this because it's right here. So um, we got this, these cute little napkins from Winners. We still have a ton left, so I don't even think a lot of them got used, which I'm not mad about because they're beautiful and I don't want them to get used to. So cute, right? I think they're like $4 a package, which is not that bad for something so beautiful. And then I also don't have it with me, but we got, we had a few plastic plates just, you know, for like the snacking earlier in the day or like later on, like it's just, nice to have a few just in case and i found these really beautiful ones on amazon they're more expensive than normal plastic plates but you can see why they're beautiful like very wedding vibey so i can link those for you guys would definitely recommend if you have any kind of special event and you want plastic plates but you don't want them to be like tacky you still want it to be kind of pretty very cute very 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 cute they're just like white detail all the way around quite sturdy for plastic plates too um okay i think that's everything oh my nails i'll show you my nails these are different already than the ones i had on the actual wedding day you can see so these are just press on nails from um the company is glamade i'm pretty sure i have a discount code like i think if you use gwen the milkmaid you get a discount but i'm not certain um but i'll link these ones they're so cute and yeah, they're just press on nails because like I told you guys, I don't do gel anymore. My nails are slowly starting to actually be strong and healthy. It only took like eight months. <laughs> Crazy. But um, yeah, my nails are finally growing back and they're healthy again. Healthier. They still have a little bit of, you know, growing to do, but they're getting there. Worth the wait. And obviously like you just save so much money and, and time. Like gel nails are really pointless and I'm happy I don't do them anymore, but sometimes you just want your nails to look cute especially for your wedding or a photo shoot yesterday so press on nails are the way the way to go for said occasions i really like the glamade ones because they look like gel nails like especially the ones i had for the wedding had like cute little bows on them the only reason i don't have those anymore is because one fell off and i have no idea where it went otherwise i would have just glued it back on but it's like disappeared i don't know what happened to it but yeah these like actually look like gel nails and they feel like gel nails like i swear they're gel nails you just glue them onto your fingers instead of having gel put on your nails and then you're kind of stuck with gel on your nails for like forever until it grows out so they like don't chip like i've had other press on nails that i don't know how they make them but like it'll be a french nail for instance and one day all the paint from the french part will have like peeled off like it's just really low quality whereas this last like this i can like do anything and it's not going to chip the paint isn't going to go away it's like having gel nails 
um, and they're really cute. So I would really recommend this brand. I didn't know what to expect, but I love, oh, my lashes. I don't know if you guys could tell, but they're a little more dramatic than normal. I've been loving, I think I told you guys, a flutter habit at home lash extensions because they don't get lash extensions anymore. I'm saving so much money. I'm so happy about like my new beauty routine. It's so much more affordable, time saving. I just love it. So I do them myself. It took me forever to figure out how to do it because I can't even put real lashes on to save my life, like fake lash, real fake lashes on to save my life, which is why I've been getting lash extensions for so long because I just couldn't. But these are way easier to put on. They just take a little bit of time to figure out. Oh yeah, so normally I do like the more subtle one, but obviously for my wedding, I went for the more dramatic lash and now I'm kind of hooked. But I don't know, do I look silly? Because I look back at videos of me with my lash extensions and I'm like, girl, what were you thinking? You look insane. <laughs> so um, someone talked me down. Are these too dramatic or can I wear these instead of my other ones from now on? Let me know what you think. Okay, now I'm just rambling because it's 5.38. And um, my husband is still asleep and now what am I going to do with my life until he gets up? I don't know, but <laughs> I guess I'll go. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably do like a little blog post or something with links to all the decorations and recipes and stuff. So check the description box. There might be something there that can be of use to you if you are having a wedding soon i know some of you are congratulations if you are it's truly the best i love i love being a wife i didn't really think it would make much of a difference but it really is just the best and i love my husband and i'm very happy okay that's it love you lots hope you're doing amazing sorry for like not posting for a century it's just we've been so busy like the wedding and the photo shoot there's just been so much going on um but hopefully I'll get back into a little bit of a routine. I'm not quite sure. I don't really have any other videos planned. I kind of want to do some topical ones. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So it might be a little irregular right now on this channel. But I will be back to a, you know, a flow soon, I'm sure. Okay. Love you lots. Uh, check out Nick Lights Pie Co. For some tallow. Especially if you guys are feeling kind of dry for the summer. This stuff is so good. Put it all over your body. This is the summer meadow one. This is what I like to use on my body. It smells like heaven. And you're moisturized literally all day. I don't know about you guys, but like, you know, I'd put moisturizer on my legs and I'd be good for like two hours and then it would be dry later. You put this on in the morning, at night, you will like just, you know, randomly touch your leg for some reason and you're like, dang, like you're so soft. Like I had it yesterday. I put this on in the morning before our photo shoot and then that night I like was rubbing my leg and I'm like girl like you just you feel like a baby it's incredible I love tallow so tallow for summer I have um common chamomile or the tiny slip for your face you can also use it all over oh I just launched a larger version of the common chamomile so I'm able to offer you guys pretty much well it is double the product amount for not double the price I think like only half more 50% more the math for that so um great way way more affordable the reason i can do this is because there is just so much like um base price to any product that you want like the jar the label the website the copywriting the photography like so many things but if i offer you guys a larger product you get basically better value for money i don't know how to explain it better than that but yeah i'm really happy about that so if the four ounce of this one does well then i'll probably also do a four ounce of the timeless which is my, one of our best sellers as well. So check it out for some handcrafted non-toxic skincare. Love me some tallow. And check out Shop Gwen. New listings coming soon. I have a lot of cute new things. I also went through my closet and got a lot of athletic wear. So if you guys are into Lululemon or TNA, there's a lot of things that I just do not need. I was like amazed at how many athletic clothes I had. And I'm like, girl, you do not need this many. So... A lot coming might be up by the time you're watching this might not but check out shop one either way for affordable secondhand clothing check out my merch gwenmilkmaid.com i'm obsessed right now with the baby cow sweater oh my god actually i think it's i think it's right here let me show you is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life <laughs> how adorable i'm obsessed so people have been asking me this is true to size so if you want it to be more of an oversized fit, get an oversized size. Um, yeah, 
There's also this in baby onesie form and it makes me so happy. Also, when you guys order, there's like, I don't know where, but at some point in your checkout process, you can leave me a little note. And I only recently realized that. So I was having fun scrolling through reading all your little letters. So thank you. Check it out. And follow me on Instagram, at Gwen the Milkmaid. And check out my blog, Gwen's Farmhouse. Okay, love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.